bat. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get this one. I got my sheet. For our next adventure, David and I are headed to Queenstown. Queenstown is a city in the South Island surrounded by mountains and it's pretty small with only about 28,000 people residing in it. We didn't waste any time when we arrived in Queenstown. We went straight to the skyline where visitors can find the best views of the city. Hey everyone, so David and I are here at the skyline and we're about to take uh, the gondola and ride all the way up to the top and then afterwards we're going to take a luge and go all the way down. <laughs> Disguise myself. <laughs> I'm going to ride the luge down like this. <laughs> Disguise yourself as, as a sheep. David and I took a gondola to the top. No, not that gondola. This kind. Here we go! So cool! <laughs> Ricola! <laughs> Ricola! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. You know I'm a little afraid of heights, right? Uh, now you tell me. Oh, there's so our loose track. Where? Look, right here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, We're gonna be going I down be? on this. This is awesome. Wait, wait, now? Oh, no. Go, go, go! Oh, my gosh. Besides the amazing views, you can also go on a luge ride. And you know we had to try it. Plus, I knew I could kick David's butt. Ow! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You gotta loosen the slack. <laughs> I got man parts. I, I, I got man parts. I didn't right know your there. neck was so thick. I know. All right, so I think we're accessorized. Ready to go? Yeah, totally. Oh my gosh. Hey, everybody. 
everybody. We're gonna go luge right now, and we're on a sky lift. Yes, we and are. And I'm really afraid of heights. And <laughs> hey, David, look down. No, it's okay. <laughs> It's okay, I can see it in the viewfinder. I can see there's not much holding us right now. Yeah, it's a little it's kinda scary. Like, it feels like a thong. <laughs> oh my God. It feels like a thong bikini. There's not much support right now. It's just this little thing between us. We're super pumped that we're actually going to be going down this thing, driving from there all the way down there. After the ride, we were so beat. We decided to check into our hotel, which is right in the middle of town. Do you think we get the fireplace? No. Wow. I am up here. <laughs> The Spire Hotel is owned by two sisters, Lucy and Amelia. Dave and got to meet Lucy over food and drinks to talk to her more about why her and her sister opened the hotel. So before we eat, I'm just I'm just dying to know how two sisters, so young, start to own a restaurant and an amazing hotel. Like, how did the story unfold? We've worked in hotels in London and. Queenstown, other parts of New Zealand. Right, right. And then I did two years working on yachts in France. Oh my god. Yeah, so I was living in Monaco and I got a phone call from uh, a friend of ours from town and he said, uh, the hotel, you know, it's changing ownership, I want you to come and run it for me. And I said, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> You're like, uh, where do I sign? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have a think about it. Right. Um, and then he called back about an hour later and he said, you know what, I, I want you, you and your sister to buy it. <laughs> and how long ago was that? That was September, October 2010. Oh my god, so it's been a year. <laughs> yeah, we've been Congratulations. going. Congratulations. Thank you. So, one thing I wanted to touch on for everybody that's watching, you know, that young girls, young guys, people who just graduate high school, mm -hmm. you know, they look at me and they look at you and they see us as successful, mm -hmm. right? But it always isn't easy getting there, right? No. I mean, I mean, once you're here, it's one thing to say, to look at somebody and be like, oh, you must have it easy. It must have been easy mm. for you. And what can you tell maybe our audience, give them some hope to believe in what they want to believe in? Because you didn't start, you didn't wake up and we're like, I'm going to get this hotel. No. You started at hotel school, right? Yeah. Started managing, right? Mm -hmm. Smaller hotels mm -hmm. and then worked on a yacht. Mm -hmm. So what kind of ins maybe inspirational things that you can um, say, like maybe you know, Amelia and I, we put a lot into this and we've got a lot to lose. Right, right. Um, and, you know, it's not just all given to you. Right. You've got to really work hard. And it's days like Christmas Day when you really feel like, why am I doing this? I should what? be with my family. Right, 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 right. <laughs> But, you know, you see the guests in the hotel and you see, you know, them so happy. Yeah. And it's just things like that that make you think, this is why I'm doing it. It's a funny thing that you said, you know, on Christmas Day, you you, you both of you were like, why are we doing this? Because yeah. you get home with their families. And yeah. a lot of people don't know that when you want to run your own business and you mm. want to take 
you know, your your career to the next level, mm. it just consumes all your time. Mm. You don't have time for friends and family yeah. and But you gotta you gotta create that balance, don't you? And you've gotta oh, <laughs> That's the hard part. Yeah. That's the hard part. Do you love it? Yeah. Yeah? Would you trade it for anything? Or? No. No, I'm happy. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> look so happy and you should be so proud of yourself. Yeah, we've got so. an amazing team that really back us up and you know when we first started we had a lot of negative feedback oh. from people around you know different right, areas right, saying right. what are they doing you know. What are they doing? That's what makes me work harder because I'm just proving that I we can that. do this. You know? I love that. I love yeah. that you didn't listen to the negative feedback no. because we get negative feedback too on yeah. our videos and people want us to do different things yeah. and say things differently but you know, I'm glad that you said that because it just proves the fact that you have to stay true to yourself. You do. And do what you love. Yeah. And just, you know, not yeah. listen to anybody but yourself and, yeah. you know, your soul. Mm. And the church street is so amazing. I would yeah. love for you to show me a, a, around a yeah, little bit of if course. that's possible. Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. Shall we have a go? Yeah, sounds good. Cool. So this is Church Church Lane, right? Lane, church yeah. Lane. There's amazing shops like oh, Cup and so Cake. Cool. Cupcakes is amazing. Oh, cupcakes. Yeah, it's new. It's oh my delicious. God, that is that's a cupcake. Yeah, that's like a cake. What is this uh, Angel Divine store? It's a fantastic clothing store. Is it all it's, a bunch of local designers? Yeah. Kiwi definitely. designers. Kiwi designers. Oh, cool. She's got the best of the best. All There's the like, best New Zealand designers are in here. That's amazing print. Yeah. It's like stuff that I would not see in any other store. No, she's got the best range. Juliet Hogan, she designs all of our uniforms for the staff. Oh, how cool. And then we have Murray Crane from Crane Brothers. He's going to be designing all the male staff <sighs> uniforms. She's got the hookups. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's awesome. It's a little bit different to another, any other hotel. We yeah, have no, fashion no, no. designers do our uniforms. Definitely. Hey. <laughs> Only the number one hotel, right? Exactly. Could you know get fully, <laughs> fully designed outfits and uniforms? It's yeah. amazing. So we like keep looking and yeah. seeing what else is on the street. I love taking a walk around Queenstown with Lucy. It was such a cute area. I can't wait to tell Michelle about it when I get back. She's gonna be so jealous. <laughs>